2021 update video on how to block buyers from other countries or locations that you don't want to ship to. Now, you could not want to ship to these locations for different reasons. Maybe you just don't want to. Maybe you've done it before. You got scammed or whatever the case is, right? Because when a package leaves the U.S., there's no more tracking. So if you're dealing with a dishonest buyer, they can say they never received it. You got to refund them all that and maybe they did they actually never received it because it got lost but nonetheless you just say you don't want to ship to these locations um here's how you would go about blocking those locations so even if a buyer were to see that listing they can't purchase it on ebay all right so you want to go to my ebay top right and you just click on my ebay you want to click on my ebay itself and let that load all right, so you see where it says account right here. You want to click on account on the left side. All right, so normally right here it would say site preferences, but not anymore. So you just come down, scroll down to the bottom, and you see where it says shipping preference. This is that is the second to last one on under selling shipping preferences, and you just click that, and it brings you to this page where you can. Um, right here, second to last, it says exclude shipping locations, but you want to go in there and you edit. And here you have the different countries and continents, continents, I should say, um, that you can block as a whole if you want. So for domestic, they have Alaska and Hawaii, APO addresses, FBO, US protect, protectorates. So a lot of folks would block Alaska and Hawaii and APO, for example, because the shipping can be a little bit more uh, hefty. But for me, I would ship to these places because I would do calculated shipping just in case someone were to buy it, especially if it's a heavy item. But yeah, for whatever reason you want to block this, you just have to check that box. Same goes for, um, yeah, you just check the boxes of whatever it is you want to block. You don't want to ship there. Um, same for international, say for whatever reason you don't want to uh, ship anything to the Middle East, you can click right there and it shows you all the countries if you click underneath. Um, yeah, and you could actually select the ones that you want to ship to or not ship to. Maybe you just don't want to ship to any of them, right? Um, and there you go. And you can hide all the countries again. So if you notice under all of them, it says shows, show all the countries. So you have the option to select or deselect whichever one. Um, yeah. And same for PO box, additional locations, PO box. Some folks don't want to ship to PO box. And at the bottom here, it says also apply to current listings. If you just found out that you could actually block certain countries, but your previous listings, your active listings, um, does provide shipping to everywhere and you want to apply these same settings for example you want to block Asia you can just click this little check right here and it's gonna apply blocking Asia to all of your current listings the ones that you have active already all right and in the same way down here it says global shipping program settings global shipping that's a you know if you don't know just in a nutshell it's a shipping program that eBay provides that you just have to ship your items to their location in Kentucky and they take it over from there and they ship it out to the different countries and eBay is responsible for if it gets lost or the buyer says there's a problem they take responsibility for that so that makes your you know it's risk-free in a sense so say for example you do have the global shipping set up and you want if somebody were to see your item from say you block Asia so you were to block Asia, but somebody from Asia saw an item you have and they want to buy it and they're willing to buy it through eBay Global Shipping Program. If you check this box, you can actually have the Global Shipping Program override your block, that block that you had for Asia. And like, again, I said, it's almost risk-free, right? So the example it has here is, for example, if you usually don't ship to Malta, but want to ship to Malta via Global Shipping, check this box. So that's pretty cool, right? Why not? So that's pretty much it. You do your settings, you do what you want to block, and then you just hit save. And that will save all for future listings. You don't have to worry about that. Um, 
yeah so that's um just a quick update on how to block certain countries and locations you can actually do this on every single um listing you that you create individually on the computer um if you go and you try to create a new listing right now there's an option to exclude certain countries but if you come in here this is a one time you do it and it applies to every listing after that all right guys hope that helps if if it did help Give the video a thumbs up, subscribe if you like this type of content, and I'll see you guys next time.